Groucho Marx. Can you bet your life? Presented by DeSoto. Is the one, the only. Well, here I am again, winding up the ninth year of You Bet Your Life. Nine years. Starting next week, we begin our summer series, The Best of Groucho. These are some of our best shows from the past. George, who's on the first summer show next week? Do you remember? Yes, uh, Billy Pearson, the jockey, is going to be on the oh, first show. Oh, yes, that's right. I had a lot of fun with him when he was on our show. Since then, he won $64,000 on uh, some show. I can't, can't think of the name of it. But, uh... <laughs> Of course, we're going to have a lot of other wonderful people on the show, too, that we had on before. Well, I hope so. And remember, it starts next week, and tell all your friends, and tell Jack Webb, too. I will. <laughs> all right, let's get on with tonight's show. We've got $1,500. $1, duck comes down if anybody says it, and you get $100. Groucho, Ann Rowell, and Henry Jacobs are standing by to talk to you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Folks, you come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome for the DeSoto Plymouth dealer. Say the secret word, and you each get an extra 50 bucks. It's a common word, something you see. Hey. How'd you do? How'd you do? Henry Jacobs, Jacobs, is it? Jacoby. Yeah, Jacobs. Henry Jacoby and Ann Rowell, huh? Ann, I'll start with you because you're a woman. Where are you from, Annie? I was born in Bainbridge, Georgia. Hey, born in Georgia? Yes. Are you married? Yes, I have two children. You have, huh? How long have you been married? Sixteen years. Sixteen years. How'd you meet your husband? Well, we met in South Florida at a motorcycle beach party. I hitched a ride with another fellow and ditched him when I got there. <laughs> you ditched the guy you went with? Why? Well, you see, uh, Was it uncomfortable I didn't on care the motorcycle? for him, and I thought that if I uh, stuck with him, I, it would uh, cramp my style, you know. You were on the back of the motorcycle? Oh, yes. Well, you were pretty safe back there, weren't you? Huh? Yes. There's not much can happen to a girl on the back of a motorcycle. <laughs> Let's see, you're, uh, you're Henry Jacobs, huh? That's right, Groucho. You have an interesting stash there, a mustache. Uh, uh, well, thank you very much. I've been studying it ever since you came up here, yes. and I have one question to ask you. Yes. Why, why do you wear it? <laughs> well, you see, some people have told me that I look better with it, so I've worn it for that reason. I see. Well, I've been told I look better with my head in a bucket, but you don't see me wearing it. <laughs> well, certainly, I've been watching your show a long time, Groucho, and I kind of wondered about your mustache, why you wear it. It's sort of a... Well, I have no other place to put it. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of the way I feel, too, you know. Are you married, Henry? Oh, uh, no, I'm not, no. You're not married with a mustache like that? You're not married? No, no. Maybe you... Uh, why aren't you married? Don't the girls like your mustache? How do you well, pronounce it? Mustache or mustache? Mustache. Mustache. Yeah. Mustache, huh? <laughs> Uh, are you are you from England? Uh, no, no. Are you from Dixie? No, no. Are you from Hunger? <laughs> Some people have told me I am, but well, I think you're a very fine-looking fellow, Bill. Yes. Uh, Henry I might say the same thing about you, George. Well, yeah. uh, pardon, George. <laughs> I don't mind being called George. Yeah. I got mixed up the director. There have been a number of kings of England, you know, who were named George. That's yeah? true. The fat one who in the Revolutionary War. What a jerk he was. <laughs> Lost the whole continent because Did you he... know him? Well, I... <laughs> I was born about five years after he was, oh, uh, right. he died. Do you have a job, uh, Oh, yes. Henry? Yes, yes I do. I, uh, I have a small film company in San Francisco. We make, uh, films for the television stations. Oh, really? you commercials. You're professional, yeah. then? Well, no, then I have a, I have a radio program up in Berkeley, uh, a radio station. We... You, you move around quite the, a bit, huh? Well, Berkeley's right next to San Francisco, oh. and uh, we have a bridge up there that you can go right across. It's very good. It costs good. a quarter, but I mean, it's... Yeah. Uh, I have a bridge. It costs $300. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you uh, you're a very unusual pair, and I'd like to go on talking to you, but the time has come to play You Bet Your Life. Here we go for the dictionary quiz. You can start with 10 all the way to 100, and one answer between you, your partner. What do you want to stop? A hundred. A hundred. All right. What is a, a hedonist? H-E-D-O-N-I-S-T. Pleasure. Pleasure. What's your answer? It's someone who uh, devotes their life primarily to the pursuit of pleasure. You don't have to go any further. You hit it right on the nail with a thumb with a hammer. <laughs> 
You're off to a great start. You have $200 now. And now what? 90. 90. All right. Synonyms are words of the same meaning. What do you call words of opposite meanings? Anonyms. And, and uh, did you know that, Anne? I'd heard it. Oh. <laughs> and... You now have $290. And now what? 80. 80. 80 dollar. What is the visage of a person? What is the, the visage of a person? V-I-S-A-G-E. It's the face. It, sh it sure is. It sure is. You now have $370. Now what? 70. 70, huh? For $70, what is a cistern? Mm -hmm. It's a well. Right. <laughs> and you wind up with $440. Well, you can't do better than that on this show. Thanks and good luck from the DeSoto Plymouth Dealers. Thank you very much. <laughs> This is Alice Enloe and Mr. Albert Eisen are waiting to talk to you. So, folks, you come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome for the DeSoto Plymouth dealer. Say the secret word, and you each get an extra 50 bucks. It's a common word, something you always have with you. Let's see. Alice Enloe and Albert Eisen, eh? Where are you from, Alice? I am from uh, a little town in western Colorado, Grand Junction, Colorado. Oh, Grand Junction. A little Junction. town on the western slope. Do you miss your old hometown, or did you come out here to forget? Well, uh, I can't very well forget it. I have some claims back there that keep reminding me of oh, it. Oh, and that's why you came to California? Mm. With all these claims against you, you <coughs> must have barely beat the sheriff to the border. <laughs> well, they happen to be uranium claims. Really? Oh. Well. <laughs> Alice, I happen to have some oil stock that's absolutely worthless. <laughs> but uh, I, together, I think we could work out a nice, fast swindle. Uh, would you be interested in a partnership? Uh, I'll tell you, Groucho, I'm a special investigator for the State Corporation Commission. I spend eight hours a day, five days a week, investigating those bad oil deals. <laughs> well, uh, do you know what the fair is to Toronto? <laughs> you find much of this fraudulent activity in Los Angeles? Yes, there's... That's the statement of the month. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Probably one of the main reasons is that Southern California is a mecca for middle-aged people and elderly people who retire from the Middle West. And, and spend their time on the freeway. <laughs> <laughs> and on the fast line, too. <laughs> Alice, I admire the work you're doing. I think it should be encouraged, and I'd like to help you in every way possible. Thank uh, you. Would you happen to have a list of these old people with money? <laughs> You see, I haven't got too much time, and I, I'd like to get started right away if I could. <laughs> now, uh, I'll get back to you, Alice. Uh, who are you? Anybody that I should know? Albert Eisen, Groucho. Eisen, huh? That's well, right. Uh, are you in the stock business? Uh, no, Groucho. Uh, I, I. Where was, are you from? I was born in Los Angeles, but when I was five and a half years old, we moved to Torrance. Torrance. Torrance, isn't, isn't that where it rains all the time? And... Oh, no, Groucho, don't say that. We're tired about those old jokes like that. You were going to tell me that joke that when it rains, it pours in torrents. Actually, what I was going to say was that uh, when it rains in Los Angeles, it comes down in torrents. Same joke. Al, you've got me interested in your town. Where is it, and, and what is it like there? Torrance is 22 square miles, and we have 75,000 people. Are there many umbrella shops in Torrance? <laughs> We've gained 50,000 people in the last five years. We're increasing in population at the rate of 1,000 people a month, I think. And, and it I'm doesn't gonna... rain there? And you well, it does rain occasionally. Oh. I, I guess you get that admission. You're willing me, to you know. concede that. Yes, huh? if I can go ahead. <laughs> We're heavy industrialized. We lot of, have lots of factories, and they pay 65% of our tax bill. You're wasting your time. Nobody's listening to that kind of talk. <laughs> yes, they will. We, we're building a new civic center. Now, why are you so excited about this hamlet? Well, Groucho, I'm the mayor. <laughs> well, Al, I, I, I was wrong, and I, I want to apologize. You're no small-time operator. 
You're the head of the mob, huh? <laughs> well, Al, you're a good sport, and I'm sure a good man. All right, now let's play You Bet Your Life. In the race for the $1,500, the first couple won $440. Now, you selected the spelling quiz. This is an old-fashioned spelling bee. What do you want to start with? Let's Little ones are easy. Big ones are hard. You dare? Start with a hundred. Well, yeah. All right, for a hundred dollars, spell the... Live right to sleep. What is that? Spell the word fluorescent, as in modern fluorescent lighting. One answer between you now. Fluorescent. F-L-O-U-R-E-S-C-E-N-T. No, I'm sorry, Mayor, but it's F-L-U-O-R-E-S-C-E-N-T. Now, fifty dollars. Now, do you want to try ninety? Mm -hmm. You can try easy ones if you want. No. All right, spell the word repetitious, meaning continued or tedious repeating. R-E-P-E-T-I-T-I-O-U-S. You're right, man. That's right. I think it <laughs> you now have $140. Now what? I'm not going to influence you. I want you to make your own decision. 80 bucks. $80. Spell conscientious, meaning with strict regard as to duty. C-O-N-S-C-I-E-N-T-I-O-U-S. Go ahead, you do. C-O-N-S-C-I-E-N-T-I-O-U-S. You're right, Mayor. You're right. You now have $220. What do we go for now? What was that, 80? That was 80, yes. 70? This may make you a gubernatorial candidate. <laughs> for $70, spell the word limousine, meaning a type of automobile, usually chauffeur-driven. Limousine, L-I-M-O-U-S-I-N-E. L-I-M-O-U-S-I-N-E. That's right. Okay, then you... <laughs> and you wind up with $290. Well, thanks and good luck from the DeSoto Plymouth Dealers. Oh, Put it there, you. Mayor. 